So, um, so yeah, well, Minderling was a great place, uh, and there was no, you know, there was no uh, threat of, of the Chinese at that time, and uh, it was a, it was a really, really good monastery, um, and he spent about one year there. Uh, and so, um, Chung and so Chung yeah, the, the regent uh, was there then, and uh, he was he was already elderly. And at that time, uh, Minnie Rinpoche was just a boy, and I, I was also just a boy. So very, they were very. I, I'm, I'm very <laughs> glad he brought. I, I can't believe I forgot about Chung um, he, he was a very important uh, Lama of his time. Um, can Rinpoche does he have any memories of? of interactions of Chong Rinpoche, or just how did Chong Rinpoche carry himself? And then Chong Rinpoche, they call it Chong Rinpoche Gandadu, then Namba Gandadu, then the Chuba Gandadu, then the Chuba Gandadu. Mama Chuba Bea, when Lama Re, Kwan Bek To Re, Kwan Bek Sing Nge Lama To Kong Re, Di Kap De Le, Min Leng Tijin Rinpoche Kong Lo Chung Chung Re, Sang Yung Re Shie Yama Re. Chong Rinpoche Nge, Chong Chong Rinpoche Nge, Chong Chong Rinpoche Nge, Chong so yes, I mean, of course, yeah. He was, uh, was uh, his conduct was excellent. He was the, he was the chief lama of the monastery, and uh, uh, and uh, at that time, uh, Minling Rinpoche was just a was just a young man, so he wasn't married yet. He didn't have a he didn't have a consort then. And he was quite old. Chung Rinpoche was quite old. Not two things. And so at that time, Minli Rinpoche was probably 17 or 18, and I was uh, 15 or 16. So, yeah, he was the most important man uh, of the monastery. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'm curious. Uh, about his presence. In other words, um, um, people describe Kansen Rinpoche as being uh, very mountain-like, very peaceful, mm -hmm. whereas um, someone like the Karmapa or Minlin um, having this undercurrent of wrath, mm -hmm. you know, or just, mm -hmm. you know, where people can walk into a room and just mm -hmm. go, okay, I have to see how this is going to go, whereas with Kansen Rinpoche, it would be something different and calming. I'm curious what kind of feeling you received from Chong Rinpoche, or if, if there's any recollection. So you want to know if he was peaceful, wrathful, or in between? I suppose. Basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, they, they have to understand that they don't usually describe uh, uh, llamas in, in, in poetic terms. Like, you know, we, we, we describe them like a painting, and they usually describe them in terms of the qualities that they actually ascertained them to have as, as spiritual teachers. So I mean, it, 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 when you ask these kind of questions, you have to understand that it doesn't really translate across yeah. the cultures. They don't. They don't view them as as uh, as, as uh, objects of, a, of a, like a mental or, or, or you know sort of descriptive sketch, uh, but more as like what kind of qual what kind of inner qualities do they have? So I mean, just want to understand these kind no, of questions. I understand. Don't, I, don't, I've don't, asked. I've asked. I've asked yeah. some of other llamas. Okay. And, you know, and so, I'm just okay, curious just about just different okay. people's okay. takes on it. Yeah. Tene <laughs> Uh, so, um, so yeah, so he was he was a very peaceful llama, uh, and he was uh, he was he was skinny. He was uh, he was thin. 
He wasn't he wasn't a large man like Kensi Rinpoche. And in fact, I met Kensi Rinpoche then because uh, when I received the Rinchen Terza empowerments, uh, Kensi Rinpoche was there. The um, the, uh, the 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 Lama who was giving the empowerments then was the previous Shechen Rabjam. He was a very Chong Rinpoche was a very uh, was a very peaceful and very humble humble person. And, and so people like me who were who were uh, you know completely pretty much destitute you know didn't didn't uh, have any status and didn't have didn't have much to eat and were just very simple and, and poor uh, would always be greeted by Chung Rinpoche like and he would always you know fold his hands and and uh, show a sign of respect even to the most humble people. What didn't do?